Mr Fairfax. Uh, <clears throat> thank you very much, Deputy Speaker. And I rise today to give voice to 15,000 Australians, 15,000 and their families, who only a week ago were told that an insulin drug that they've become very reliant upon has been taken off the pharmaceutical benefit scheme, the PBS. 15,000 Australians have been using this drug called FIASP. Now, FIASP improves the blood sugar control for people with type 1 diabetes. Not one of these people were told in advance. There was no consultation. For a family that buys the FIASP drug today, a script costs $7. $7. Now that it's taken off the PBS, that script will cost $280. $280 per script. Putting back everyday Australian families thousands of dollars a year, right now amidst a cost of living crisis. There was no consultation with these people by the government. Despite me writing to the Health Minister, there has been no explanation from the government. There is no suggestion of a fix from the government. Now, I only became aware of this because of a 14-year-old girl in my electorate. Her na name is Freya, Freya Goldston. Now, Freya is a 14-year-old. She's a great swimmer. She uses this FIASP drug. It keeps her energy up. It allows her to participate, like all of her classmates do, in sport and in school. But Freya and her mum, Jackie, will now have to scramble before the 1st of April. The 1st of April is when this becomes effective, to get in, to see a doctor, to get scripts, and to go and pay $280 instead of seven. What have we heard from the government on this? Zilch. Nothing. It is an absolute disgrace. And I talk about Freya. Why? Because I, I met the girl. I met her about six years ago when she first came and saw me again about her type 1 diabetes. She was an 11-month-old little baby when she inherited this, this disease. But she's only one. She is one girl, one of 15,000 Australians that have been left wondering what to do now that they cannot pay for this drug. The government must answer the questions and they must fix this problem. 